What is up, Gunny Money? Gunny Money. Gunny. 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 Gunny Money. Gunny. Gunny Money. Hi, Gunny. Hey, Gunny. Gunny Money. What's up, my man? Gunny Money. 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 Baby. Oh my gosh. Throw the deuce. Oh, go on, <laughs> What's up, Gunny Money? <laughs> what up, nerds? Just kidding, y'all nerds. Y'all know that. What's going on, y'all? This is your boy Gunny Money here, coming to y'all with another star-studded movie review. And if you're new here, and you like my content, whether it comes to vlogs, highlight reels, and now, just like I said, movie reviews, please feel free to subscribe if you haven't already, and smash that follow button. It's 0.00 dollars. So, what the heck are y'all waiting on? So, Let's get down to business, shall we? I think we shall. And yes, I'm back in Utah. It was really great to be home for a little bit. I got back on Monday afternoon. It was definitely tough to come back to reality, but I got some business to take care of. So y'all know the deal. The last night I watched the new Flash movie. And I'll just say it wasn't too bad. It, and you already know I had to get the merch. After the long-awaited wait with all the Ezra Miller crab and sabbatical stuff, we finally got the movie, and let's just say it delivers. It's safe to say the multiverse is definitely a topic of discussion in recent years. Like, this movie, without a doubt, is everything Dr. Strange 2 in the Multiverse of Man is could have been and should have been. Dr. Strange 2, you dig it? Two or three Dr. Stranges. In The Flash, we did get two Barry Allens and three Batmans. At the end of the day, The Flash made Dr. Strange 2 look like an utter abomination! The Flash is about Barry wanting to go back in time and save his mom. His mom meant everything to him. I mean, don't get me wrong, mom should mean everything to us as well. He then realizes the more he changes in the past, the more it affects the future. He's having dinner with his parents, and next thing you know, his younger self comes to the yard, and, and all, it all was a... Uh, it was a heyday from there. It was really cool seeing Michael Keaton back as Batman, even though I didn't grow up with him as my Batman per se, but the part where he says, you wanna get nuts? Let's get nuts, was perfect. I will be the first to admit that the first time I heard the, you wanna get nuts line, was in the Lego Batman movie. <gasps> you uncultured swine. I know. I'm an uncultured swine! Towards the end of the movie, you can see both berries going through all the possibilities and the other worlds opening up, and I'm like, Dr. Strange 2 could have been so much better if they did it this way. Like, the amount of cameos they had in there was glorious! But... The fact that we only got the Illuminati and Dr. Strange still baffles me. We could totally see Hugh Jackman's Wolverine, or Wesley Snipes' Blade, or Nicolas Cage's Ghost Rider, even though he's my least favorite actor, I'm not even gonna lie. And then, uh, so many other characters, it would've been so cool. Like, I love seeing Professor X, Black Bolt, and... 
Captain Carter and Reed Richards there. But the fact that John Krasinski is most likely not coming back as Reed Richards for the new Fantastic Four movie in the MCU, I'm still a little mad about that. In case you can't tell. Like, how do you go from this to this? No offense to Adam Driver, superb actor, but John Krasinski is arguably the most comic accurate Reed Richards, and you can't tell me otherwise. Some people just can't be satisfied with anything these days. They all fan casted him, and the next thing you know, they're like, get him out of here! Like, dude. Give the guy another chance. I mean, he only had 10 minutes of screen time. Give him a break. Here's a conspiracy theory for y'all. If Chadwick Boseman was still alive by the time What If came out on Disney+, Plus, I can guarantee Marvel probably would have made a Guardians of the Multiverse movie, or at least put them in Doctor Strange 2. And we could have seen a live action T'Challa Star Lord. And that would have been legendary! So the Flash was pretty solid. I'm not the biggest DC guy, but y'all know me, I love me some superheroes. I, it was good for what I liked about it, but something I don't need to see repeatedly over and over again, even though I. Watch the same shows and movies I do religiously. Cause all the shows I still watch and movies are all on my streaming services. So it works out great. I hope all y'all liked this video and if y'all liked this video, please feel free to subscribe if y'all haven't already and smash that follow button. I don't know what the heck are y'all waiting on, but anyway it helps and I'm truly grateful. I hope y'all have a dope-tastic weekend, and I hope to see y'all in the next one. And most importantly, make sure you're following your boy on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, all day. I'm out of breath just saying that. Gunny money out. Peace. Love y'all 3000.